it's so good to see you, my friend. It's great to see you, Seth. I feel like it's been a while. It has been a while. Uh, I feel like we see each other sort of intermittently over the last few years, mm -hmm. but we met a decade ago now yes. on the set of the film Hot Rod, the Andy Samberg. Wonderful film in Vancouver. In Vancouver. Yeah. We spent a summer together in Vancouver. Yes, yes. You were up there trying to save the film, right? Trying I was to put doing more jokes. I into was it. trying to put more jokes into it. Uh, and I, I got like two jokes in over I, the course I of knew, a summer. I knew which jokes were yours. Thank you very they much. They were the, the good ones. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> uh, it was a great summer. I really enjoyed it. And you had been, I remember the guys, uh, the Lonely Island guys, had found you from this fantastic independent film, Foot Fist Way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this was your first studio film, your first big yeah, film. Yeah, this was the first film I had ever participated in where I wasn't paid in a case of beer and a quarter of weed. It was, yeah. uh, it was, the, uh, it was the first real paycheck. It was incredible. And did yeah. you prefer that to the beer and the weed? You know, it goes back and forth. Yeah. You know? uh, there's, there's more stakes on it you know, <laughs> yeah. when you get a paycheck. Uh, you were not at the premiere of Hot Rod, though. I remember us going, and, and you and Bill Hader could not make it to that. Yeah, we were riding high off of the success of Hot Rod. <laughs> and uh, we were, Bill and I were both in Tropic Thunder. A fantastic we, film yeah, as well. That was fun. We were, and we were in Kauai, and we, uh, we were going to miss the premiere of Hot Rod. And we were really bummed because we, you know, that film was so special for all of us. We really did love working on that film. And uh, Bill and I were like, well, why don't we just crack some beers and, uh, and, you know, read some reviews on opening night, just see what people think about this film. And uh, we got through about four or five of them, and we're like, you know what, this is the worst idea. We should never, we should never have read any of these. I will say, the world came around. Uh, Hot Rod was ahead of its time. Because it was I will ahead. say it's a lot better received 10 years now. I would say a lot of people consider it a classic. It's uh, it, that movie is I really do think is brilliant. I don't use that word often because yeah. I don't really know how to spell it. But uh, <laughs> it uh, it, it is awesome. Those guys did an incredible job with that, and I yeah. do love the idea that like you know sometimes a movie comes out and the critics don't give it its day in court, but that is the movie that everyone will come up to me about. You know they love that film. Yeah. And it's I think that those guys hit this really interesting cross section of it's a really smart, very well considered comedy, and there's a bunch of jokes about Wangs. And, Tons of Wang jokes. And it turns out that like people like that a lot more in 2017 <laughs> than they did in 2007. They were ahead of their time. They were ahead of yeah. their time. Uh, and then you did a fantastic show, Eastbound and Down, that was produced by, uh, yeah, give it up for Eastbound and Down. Uh, Will Ferrell. Mm -hmm. Comedy legends, Will Ferrell and Adam McKay. Was that intimidating to start working with guys like that? It was. Those guys, uh, you know, they picked up our film, The Foot Fist Way, and so we were, uh, we became friends with those guys, and they were like sort of our mentors as we made Eastbound and Down. And, uh, it, you know, those guys were heroes of mine. And so when we made Eastbound and Down, after we finished the first season, Will and Adam were like, hey, you know, you've done a great job on this. We want to, like, take you out. We want to we wanna have some fun with you. Let's have a gentleman's weekend. I was like, all right, well, what's a gentleman's weekend? I'm like, why don't we go to Vegas? There's a boxing, you know, there's a boxing fight. There's a fight this weekend, and let's go see that. We'll eat steaks. We'll drink wine. We'll get massages. We'll have a gentleman's weekend. That like, sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah, this this is, seems like a very high this, level of gentleman. Yeah, yeah, this is what this is what guys do in Hollywood, I guess. Yeah. And so uh, we went to Vegas, and I had never had a massage before. It was just something that I had never thought about getting, and these guys were all very well adapted to it. They knew all about massages. So uh, we, we go to this thing. I don't really know what to do at the at the uh, you know at the massage parlor. I'm not really sure what the protocol is or what's supposed to happen. And we're all sent into our different rooms. I'm like, what do we do? And they're like, oh, we'll just meet up. There's like this giant hot tub that we can all just like meet up at afterwards. I'm like, okay, well, sure. Walking around, everyone's naked. Everyone's nude walking around this massage parlor. And uh, and so I'm like, all right, well, I guess this is just what we do. You know, I come in there and. I kind of strip down as well. Like, I get the massage. It's like, oh, this is pretty cool. This is a nice gentleman's weekend. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the massage is over with, and I'm just, like, not really sure what to do. I'm like, oh, thanks. That was awesome. And I'm like, D is now when I go to the hot tub where all my friends are going to be? And she's like, yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there. You can just go out. And I'm looking, and there's, you know, people are all walking around naked. I'm like, oh, I guess this is just what you do. I guess you're yeah. just, we're going to go out there naked. And so I just was like, you know, let's be a part of this experience. Let's, let's live it up. <laughs> So I made the choice, like, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to go change. I'm just going to go out to the hot tub naked. Like, this is a big deal. And so I walk down the hall and get to where this beautiful, gigantic hot tub is, completely nude. And then there's Will and Adam in their bathing suits. I'm like, oh, nope, nobody's <laughs> naked. <laughs> that, was wrong, that was the wrong call. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> You, you broke the first rule yeah. of Gentleman's Weekend. And then yeah. I just, like, scurried and dipped into the, into the hot tub. 